Imagine a situation where you don't know how to swim and you want to learn how to swim. Well, there are two ways you can do this. The first way is very simple. All you have to do is jump in a pool of water and just take a safety tube with you so that you're safe in the water and just learn how to swim on your own. However, you can take the second way of hiring a swimming instructor and the swimming instructor will teach you step by step how to master swimming. Which one would you choose? Well, most of us would take the instructor option and learn how to swim from a professional directly. Similarly, when it comes to investing in the stock markets, most of us don't know how to invest in the markets and we don't know how to value a company properly. So, for most of us, it is best to go through the mutual funds route of investing in the stock markets. But what is a mutual fund exactly? Well, simply put, mutual funds are pools of investments that are done by me and you. And these pools of investments are managed by a professional fund manager, just like there is a professional swimming instructor that teaches you swimming. However, how do these investments really grow over a long period of time? Well, the answer to this is something called the power of compounding that you might have heard about in the newspapers. In this video, let us understand how this power of compounding actually works. Well, the term power of compounding is simply a slang given to compound interest. To understand that better, let us first understand what simple interest means. Simple interest refers to the interest that you get on your principal every single year. As simple as that. Let us quickly go through an example to understand this better. Let's take the example of Ankit. Ankit invests rupees 50,000 in a fixed deposit at an interest rate of 10%. Now, Ankit will simply earn 10% on rupees 50,000 every single year. Thereby, the total returns made by Ankit is 25,000 rupees. Now that you have understood simple interest, it is now time to talk about compound interest and the power of compounding. The difference between compound interest and simple interest is just that compound interests gives you interests on interests. To understand this better, let us go back to Ankit's example. But in this example, let us assume Ankit invests 50,000 rupees into a mutual fund and he gets 10% year on year every year on that fund. And let us assume he is going to invest for the same amount of time, which is five years. Now, in this case, let us do all the calculations again, but for compound interest. Let us take a look at the sum and let us see if that is true. The entire interest earned by Ankit in these five years is 30,525 rupees. Now, compare this to the simple interest where Ankit earned 25,000 rupees. And as you can see, there is a difference of over rupees 5,000 in simple interest and the compound interest that Ankit has earned. And this is exactly why people swear by compound interest and the power of compounding in the stock markets. So this brings us to three key points that can help you maximize this advantage in your favor. The first thing to do is invest as soon as possible, which is probably today. So go and start your investing journey right now. The second thing you have to follow and that point is to simply patiently remain invested in the markets, even through all the market volatility and all the market turbulence. And finally, the third thing that you can do is something called a top-up SIP. Just like we have increments in our salaries as well, you can put an increment to your SIPs as well. And you can do this every single year. And this thing is called top-up SIP. So basically, money that you have already earned earns more money for you. And who wouldn't like that? Now, to get the power of compounding in its entirety, it is best to stay invested in the stock markets. However, since me or you, we don't know how to analyze stocks or how to find the true value of a company, mutual funds provide the best opportunity for us. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all simulated documents carefully.